Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with something really interesting I just ordered last week a few things from this brand Shelly which I wasn't aware the community caught my attention hey Robert there is this brand and honestly a huge thumbs up for this community right over here and also on my Puchkis channel where I've got a lot of content in terms of uh, home automation, home assistant and so on and so forth and we are gradually going on that way and honestly I'm really happy with the results of the plug, Shelly plug which is what we are going to see today we are going to give an example which is in my particular case to make a water heater a bit smarter than what it is. I'm going to use this lamp here as an example because it has nothing of intelligent and it's not smart at all but with a small touch we can make it a lot smarter and the water heater will be semi-intelligent if I can say so or semi-smart but with this and in a few days with home assistant we can make it a lot smarter especially if you also have solar pv or if you have something similar that generates energy to your home and a spot alert is that besides all the specifications besides having one of the best apps probably the best app that i've seen in terms of a smart device and it has a bonus on the plug that I was not aware when I did the order because when I was looking at the specifications I'm not sure if I read that it had the power consumption but it has and it's just awesome now I can show you the power consumption right over here but I prefer to show you the power consumption when I was doing the readings on my water heater which is a lot more interesting because it consumes a lot more power than this lamp right over here and this is a huge bonus because besides having the instant power consumption it also has the historical power consumption so I can check how much I'm spending on that device or if I have more than one device connected I can check what I'm spending in terms of power consumption with those devices now that being said what I'm going to do and today as you can see or as you have seen already I'm not recording the screen I'm doing this old-fashioned so that I can show you the smart plug from Shelly and also the application which is just awesome but I'm going to show you how to disconnect and connect on any other location because once again it's a really complete product I'm really happy with it and I'm, if I'm too happy I'm sorry about it because it surpassed my expectations and it's really easy so I'm going to do it here real time so that you guys can check it out how easy it is to connect this device and then just program it weekly daily schedule and we are going to see right now so in terms of removing the device from uh, what I've got is just a matter of going to the app and as you can see really complete app with a lot of options which we are not going to cover everything today I, I wanted to do uh, a lot of tests with all these devices and then towards a, a few weeks or so we will dive in more into the app and so on and so forth and I'm sure that some of you guys will help me because you will get some of these devices and we can share some opinions by the way I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check the prices and so on and if you ask me hey Robert there are a few Chinese products that are a lot cheaper they do more or less the same more or less not exactly the Shelly one is the most the most complete one that I found so far and that's why my expectations were beaten and well let's remove the device right over here yes I want to remove it and there it went and as you can see the light went red and one of the things is that this device is so smart that if I leave it uh, for a few moments it will go alone to my and there you go as I was talking uh, it just discovered automatically because it was on my network now what I want to do right now is I'm going to reset it and I did not read the manual sorry about that uh, you know me but I'm going to press the button right over here for a few seconds it's going to blink red for a few times and then it's going to uh, go to blue and there we go I know I don't know how many seconds I'm sure that's in the manual that it's complete as well will have that info I'm going to just uh, close the app 
and I'm going to open the app. Now this is how it comes from factory. When we purchase it comes like this, we plug it into the wall, it lights this uh, blue light. And what I want to do right now is I'm going to the menu and add a device. And at this moment I'm connected to this network so it will uh, put my password and so on and so forth. Actually, I'm not really sure if I did put my password. I think I did put my password. Uh, but if the password it's not here, then you will have to put your own password. Next step, I want to choose which device I want to connect. In this particular case, I want to add the Shelly plug. So let's uh, select that one and it will start to uh, show a, uh, a message right over here stating that it wants to connect to, my, to the network of the plug. So let's press access and uh, it will try to connect to the um, to the plug itself and at this moment it's stating that it's searching and inclusion was completed and one device was included in your Wi-Fi network. So now we will just wait for a few moments and it already appeared the green light right over here so in a few moments it will be discovered and there we go. Now I just need to press it right over here click to add and then I want to give a name to this I can say plug and done and I want to choose the room of course we can customize the app as you can see I've got two pictures right over here one of the office and one of the kitchen uh, water heater which is where I've done some of the tests already and probably I've shared some images if I haven't I can share some pictures right over here but the point is that right now I can add uh, the device by saving device, preparing the device. Would you like to connect to the cloud? Yes, I would like because I want to be able to connect anywhere in the world. Even if I'm not home, I can control everything. And basically it's what it's doing right now. It's connecting to the cloud service and there we go. Now uh, it's ready to use. And if I go back, I've got two areas, one with the office, which I've got this temperature sensor I'll share in a few days. I'm just testing it out, checking the temperature when I turn the AC on and off and so on and so forth. And uh, besides that, I've got here on the kitchen, the plug, which is not on the kitchen right now. It's right over here. So if I press, bam there we go and basically this is it one of the easiest ways or one of the easiest devices that i found so far to connect and the sensor is the same so i imagine that all of them will work the same way great great way so re let's take a quick look at the app and the options that i have for the plug itself so that we can make it smarter any device a little bit smarter than it is in this particular case a lot smarter so first of all we have the timer where i can just select uh, what i want if i want to turn on or off and how much time i want uh, i can say 30 seconds or whatever i want to, to put right over here i can just um, write any values i don't know 300 uh, and just say save turn on after 300 seconds but basically this is just a quick timer used to a turn on in a few seconds and turn off in a few seconds so basically this is what we can do right over here and if we go back we will have the weekly schedule which is something a little bit more advanced where I can state right over here if I add I can say hey I just want you to turn on on Mondays I don't want Tuesdays Wednesdays I want Thursdays not Fridays and not Sunday. So I can say that I want to turn on at whatever hour I want and that is it or if I want to select the uh, off button I want to turn off this way. So I can add uh, for example if I save this on the off we have a schedule for the off and I could schedule another one for turning on on I don't know any of these days uh, or we can have every day at X hours and let's change to on and here we go we could save and this way i know that it, it turns on at uh, this day at this hour turns off on that day at that hour and this is one of the options that we have of course uh, we can uh, also delete if we have any mistake let's go back one step and besides the weekly schedule and the timer which are the ways that we can make any device a little bit smarter now the app also has a lot a lot of options and i'm just going to share you 
really quickly just a glimpse because I want to, besides having more experience with all the devices, uh, towards a few more days, few more weeks, uh, give you guys a tour on terms of the app itself with more details. But as you can see, Wi-Fi mode in terms, in this particular case, uh, it's client. I can set a static IP address, which is just great. And then uh, Wi-Fi client backup, uh, Wi-Fi mode access point. So we have a lot of options right over here, as we can see. And it's not all the devices that we will find this kind of detail in an app. Now let's take a look at another menu in terms of safety. There's also this menu right over here, which we can configure share, Shelly a device to relay to turn off when power consumption reaches the range between one and 3,500. So let's assume that I want to turn this device if it starts consuming more than 1,500. I just need to change the value and 1,500 watts and it will block the power, which is great if I don't want to consume more than that on that particular uh, device, like a, I don't know, depends on the scenario that we, ha we have. So besides that, we also have here the actions menu, which we can uh, set a few things right over here. And as I'm talking, you will be able to read. And if you are not, you can just pause the video and read right over there. But this just to say that there are a lot of options where we can just customize and as you can see right over here uh, all the in terms of the app itself and I'm sure that it has some more things that I haven't discovered yet but with time and with the help of the community because I'm sure that once you try one of these you will want more and that's going to be my problem as well because it's so great that I probably will tend to get a few more to my home. Guys, that being said, hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.